What's up, car fighters? It's me, Franklin, and I am going to update the Divine Swordsman of the Shining Star. This is the newest War Paladin deck and the first War Paladin deck in the G era of Vanguard. Let's check out this new awesome deck. We have the new short guy. I'm sure it also includes information about the new generation break and the G units before you can try it. I wish Bushy were me to start X like they used to with the opening on the very back right here, which was very easy to open. But it just made everything so difficult now. Really? All right, there we go. And the feature shrine unit is a Grave Four Shroud of Divine Knight Gal Blade. Here's a new Shry unit. When this unit attack hits the Vanguard, search your deck for up to one grade to a greater card and shuffle your deck. And the best thing about these decks is they offer two copies of the featured cards in this deck. So I have two G units. To the feature grade three, we have Blue Sky Knight at Mile. He is the generation break. And with another generation break, we have Aurora Shooter Dragon. We have two copies of him. We have Profound Sage. The new tank attack for War Paladins, Absolute Blade Knight. We have Knight of Twin Sword. He also is a Generation Break unit. Generation Break 1. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if this unit is boosted, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one Grade 2 card, not named Knight of Twin Sword, call it to rear and shuffle your deck. He has Transmigration Knight. We have the new. 10k Interceptor, Myth Guard Lion. We have Lunar Crescent Knight Felix. He is the new 8k booster. Archer of Heaven's Tower. Knight of Steel Wing. Milky Way Unicorn. And one of the best features in the new G Dax feet. Now get two perfect guards. Your comments, but it doesn't matter. They still get the job done. They do have new perfect guards in the booster sets that unflip damage now. But as of now, for these star decks, we just get the basic perfect guards. We have a new sorter, and this is not a vanilla sorter. This is a forerunner. We have shiny knight for the critical trigger. We have burning main lion. For two of the draw triggers, we have Pixie Assault Captain. The Sand Triggers, Knight of Festival. The Heal Trigger is Healing Pegasus. And the very nice Four of Marble for our last two draw triggers. The Royal Palance finally have their Shrine Units and their first ever generation break in at Mile. All you need to do is buy two copies of this sort of deck, and you will have a complete deck for Atmile and the Divine Knight. You won't have a complete Shrine deck, but your regular deck will be complete as you get two perfect cards in each deck, two copies of Atmile, and two copies of all the other four units in the deck. Tell me what you think about this deck in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.